All right, so I'm John Kelsey. I work at NIST, and I want to tell you what we're up to, um, at least some of what we're up to. So the, the post-quantum crypto competition, that's the thing everybody knows about. Um, you can t the slides are, I think, online, um, or you can ask me and I'll send them to you. Um, so there's a workshop right after crypto, so that's the place to really go for more information. But you can see what's going on. We have still several submissions, and we're still kind of percolating on that, thinking about what the next... Uh, Next step is as far as paring things down. Um, and stick around after crypto to find out more. Um, we also are working on a standard for or on a standardization effort for lightweight crypto. That means crypto that you know, symmetric crypto that is less demanding than say AES. And so you can see this there's this process. Hey, I've got a laser. There's this process here for uh, for Choosing one of these, we've had this uh, competition started a little while ago. We have like a whole bunch of, co of uh, competitors and we're getting ready to winnow things down a bit. And there'll be several more rounds, I think, before we get to a final answer here. Um, and you can see the URL here and there's also, there's a mailing list and all kinds of stuff if you're interested. So let's see, uh, what else we got? Um, random bit generators, this is something I've been working on for basically my whole time at NIST. Um, so we recently, by recently I mean like a year ago, a year and a half ago, we published um, 90B, which is um, standard for entropy sources, entropy source evaluation. Um, we are kind of trying to collect errata about this, like basically errors in formulas, ambiguities, things like that. And we keep trying to get to a final point on that and then finding out that there are more, more comments. So we hopefully, hopefully we'll be putting out a revised version soon. Um, we also have 90C, which will be coming out soon, and this is the final piece of this. This tells you how to take a DRBG from 90A, the deterministic random, gener gen random bit generator, and then an entropy source from 90B, and put them together to make a full RBG. So um, that'll be coming out soon, and we hope to get comments from it. So let's see. Then the most interesting thing probably that I need to talk about is FIPS 186-5, the digital signature standard. So this is going to be out for public comment very soon. Important things. Number one, um, we're adding support for deterministic stuff. Um, EDDSA, ECDSA, deterministic. Um, we also have fixed this thing that we are not quite, I'm not quite sure why it wound up this way where we weren't allowing um, large RSA moduli. So if you really want to do post-quantum RSA now, you know, it'll be okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing is we're planning to, um, to kind of do away with DSA, with just integer DSA. So there's, there are a couple of reasons for this involving like, you know, it's kind of hard to get the parameters right and also hardly anybody's using it. So if you have strong feelings about this, like if us doing away with support for normal DSA is going to just kill you, let us know on the, on the comment uh, email and there's, you know, all, you can catch up with me or Dustin who's actually really the project lead on this. So let's see. Um, then. Um, the NIST Threshold Crypto Project, which apparently looks like it's some sort of a cult thing involving summoning demons, but I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, so basically, we're, we're working on standardizing threshold schemes and then, and, you know, maybe threshold, like just Shamir, maybe something like signing, you know, threshold signatures, threshold public key saying, schemes. So this is a big project we've got. We've got a NISTer out that's a white paper, basically. Um, we had a workshop earlier this year, and we're kind of trying to figure out what to do next. And so there's a roadmap um, that we're going to kind of put up basically to say how we're going to get to something standardized, how we're going to get to standardizing things. So that's, um, I think if some of you saw Luis's talk on Sunday, so, so you know more than, than everybody else about this. And the last kind of big thing is randomness beacons. So, the crypto, like the 890 series is about generating secret random numbers, things for keys. This is public randomness. The idea here is you have, um, you know, you have a source that once a minute produces a random number. It's got a, si a digital signature. It's got a timestamp. They're hash chains. You can't even, the beacon operator can't change the past. And these are, these are useful for various kinds of public uh, coordination things, um, like audits and things like that. So we've got a new standard for um, interoperable randomness beacons. Um, it's, I think, right now it's still out in draft, but if you want to download it from our website, you'll be able to find it and read it and give us comments. 
Um, and there are two other organizations, uh, Inmetro in, in Brazil and Universidad de Santiago in Chile, that are um, running beacons and they're moving to our standard. And so it'll be possible to interoperate, combine beacons in a cryptographically secure way. Cool stuff. So if you want to look up, find more, you can talk to me, or you can just look at, these, uh, at the URL. And I think that's everything, so thanks a lot. <laughs>